Casey with Harmony Horticultural Consulting. We have Cash and River here, and we're bored because we are out of school and we're looking at things to do. We've decided to make terrariums with household materials we've had on hand. We contacted Right in the Garden, our favorite houseplant store, for suggestions on plants that would do well in our terrariums. When we arrived, we had plants picked out for us along with the soil that she recommended, and we were in and out of the store in under 10 minutes. We found this half fish bowl that River liked, and it already had colored marbles in it. River's going to use for his. Depending on the size and shape of your container will really determine what types of plants you can use in your terrarium. So some of your ground cover plants will do better in a wide or even shallow dish. We found some small pebbles to put in the bottom of our terrariums, which will help with drainage. Today we're going to use a peat-based potting soil, but you can also use a potting soil used in your outdoor plants or even a cactus and succulent mix. It's best to use an organic-based potting soil since this will also provide nutrition to the plants also going to use activated charcoal in our terrariums. Activated charcoal helps eliminate odors which may develop as organic matter decays in closed terrariums. All we had this round was activated charcoal toothpaste. After six months this terrarium which did not have charcoal originally has no odor at all. There's an earthy organic smell Originally, this terrarium I made six months ago is now overgrown and ready to be an open enclosure. Loosely pack the soil inside your terrarium on top of your drainage rocks and add the charcoal over top and work in. Carefully plant your terrarium plants or cuttings that you have. You want the soil to be firm around each plant with air in between the particles but not compacted. Do a little research on the plant species that you are wanting to put in your terrarium to ensure that they will perform well under those environmental conditions. Let's see how everyone's doing on their terrariums. And how are you designing yours? So I'm putting it high in the back because it kind of looks like a, like a mountain. There you go. Do you want me to want me to put it down in there? Yeah. Okay. Don't be. Don't worry. But worry. These plants aren't too tender, but we're gonna arrange it. And this is a little large. Okay. Now, if you can, you can use. Um, I've used this chopstick, and use this. Go ahead. And if you need some more soil, I can get you some more soil. How are you doing, River? Good. Do you need to use the same the no, same chopstick? What chopstick? That he's using to. No, I'm good. You're good. It's looking Can I put very water nice. On it? Uh, yeah. So River, go ahead and mist. So one of the things when you're setting these up is you have to create uh, enough moisture for. And uh, forests have a lot of moisture. Exactly. A lot so of I'm, these are so forest put, plants. So I'm putting this much. Yeah. And so what do you think needs to be so watered I'm, more? I'm, I'm watch. I'm watering it a lot because these is these plants normally go in the forest, they normally get a lot of water. A lot of water, every day. Um, what do you think needs more water, the open terrarium or the closed terrarium that no, I'm going to open? open terrarium. For sure, right. Well, so why do you think that is? Um, it's because um, the open, it's based, it's not like, so the closed, um, it kind of like, it does the water cycle basically, but the open. What is the water cycle? Oh, so, um, you probably will learn it in school, and if you hadn't, um, the water cycle is, um, the air, um, water from, um, water evaporates, then it rains down, and it keeps going again. So, it's basically going to have clouds in here, and, um, And then, and then the moisture... What happens when the moisture um, fills in? What happens? Uh, when the moisture fills in? Like if it's super moist in there and the condensation, and then does it rain down yeah. back onto the plants? It does rain, and that would be super cool to see. <laughs> so, 
All right, guys. All right, so the last step really is to water in everything to get that moisture, get the plant started to grow. So you don't want to overly saturate um, your new ecosystem, but a lot of times that potting soil is going to be dry depending on if it's new or old. Uh, River, can I go ahead and water in your beautiful tree? I watered a lot. Oh, you did water it a lot. So um, I'm also using the water to wash off the edges. Um, if you want, you can take a paper towel need, and clean I need that off. Oh, you need a drink of water. Here, here. Here we go. Okay. Ready? All right, all right. We're can thirsty. Can I drink some water? Uh, <laughs> okay. My, I have the pretty, pretty kind of looks good. Okay, you can see a little walk, but this is a little oh. truck going in. Okay, they have two little sticks in the back. Okay, they're going to play hockey, I think. Is there a hockey stick? Okay, they're... There's like a pill booing in the back. <laughs> so we have angry birds terrarium. Cash chose to use an upright vase for his terrarium, keeping it clean and modern. So for mine, just a basic kind of classic. I have a fern, I have a ficus, and some moss. I did put a couple of those uh, quartz that we had. And, um, you know, between watering it, making sure there's enough moisture, in the next couple days after making it, uh, you'll want to make sure there's plenty of moisture in the terrarium, um, and, but not soggy. So we want that, if you can envision a sponge that has been fully wettened and then partially uh, uh, squeezed out. So the amount of moisture that is in uh, that sponge is perfect. You don't want it dripping, you don't want it bone dry um, or starting to shrink. So there are three different options for terrariums. Um, hope you guys find materials in your yard and in your in your drawers and your garage um, where you can um, actually make this pretty Wait, simple more? Um, more? project. If you are unable to get to a plant store to get terrarium plants, take a look around your yard and see if there's any plants that might be suitable for a moist environment. You might also take a look at any of your house plants. If you have smaller foliage plants that are growing inside, you can take a cutting and use those in your terrarium. Hope you liked our video. Um, make sure to comment on the uh, who did the uh, best. And the first thing, and the last thing I want to tell you, SMASH THAT LIKE BUTTON LIKE YOU NEVER BEEN BOLD BABY!